Hello and welcome. My name is Alan Biermacher from Digital Drafting Systems, and we'd like to welcome you back to our module tour series on the Autodesk Construction Cloud. Today, we're going to be going ahead and reviewing our project admin area. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So coming back here to our account admin area where we left off on our last video, we're going to go ahead and jump into a project. So we're going to use this Apex Residence project. And once we jump in here, we're going to go ahead and see here the project admin heading. This is where we are right now. Uh, this, just by the way, is called the module selector. If you open this up, you'll see act the modules that you have access to, as well as project admin if you're an administrator of the project, and account admin if you're an, a, a, uh, an admin of that specific account that your project is inside of. Okay, so just some things to keep in mind there. So as far as this project admin area, there's not a ton to go over here. Uh, I do want to show you how we go ahead and uh, look at our members here. So if we look at my user here, you can see first off, uh, some, just some basic information here, but you can also see some uh, switches here that are turned on or off. And so essentially these are going to enable and disable the modules that each user has access to. Additionally, if we look here under the access level heading, you can see if somebody is a project administrator or a project member. And so if we click on either of these users, you'll actually see that pop up here on the right side as well. So you can see the company, which you can edit. You can see the role, and you can change the uh, access level as well. Down here, you'll see these modules that you have access to. Again, like I mentioned in an earlier uh, video for this series, we are focusing on what's included with the, uh, with the uh, BIM Collaborate Pro license, which is going to be these three up here. Uh, takeoff build, cost management are all related to Autodesk build, which we're not going to talk about in this series. To go ahead and add members, very simple, you go ahead and click here, add members. If you have members that are already existing in your account admin level or exist in other projects, as soon as you start typing their name, you'll see that it'll pop them up here and suggest them. So if we click on them, they'll show up right here. And if we say enter, it'll put them down on this list. So here we can edit our company, we can edit our role, we can edit our access level, and we can edit which modules they will have access to. So let's say we wanted to go ahead and add Jaime here, we want to give him these levels of permission and we want to make him a member. Uh, role, executive, that's fine. Or you know what, actually, let's set him up here as an engineer. Okay, simple as that. Send invitation down here. And he will actually receive an email inviting him to the project. So simple as that, that's how you add members. Now, similar to what we saw in the account admin view, we have companies here. And it's going to be a similar thing. You can add a company if needed. As you add members from another company, that will automatically show up here as well. And again, companies added to this list that are not yet in other projects will be added on that project admin area that we saw previously. Bridge here, we're not going to dive into all that much just yet because we're going to talk about it more in the docs section, which will be not the next video, but the one right after that. And we'll, we'll kind of go over what bridge is. That's a fairly new feature here. Activity here will kind of be an activity log of, uh, you know, variety of different things, creations of folders, copied documents, things of that nature, which uh, again, for accountability sake, can be a great tool. You can change your date range up here, by the way, in case you wanted to see information or activity from a certain range instead. Next, we're going to go to notifications. And so this is where you can basically set up to certain types of notifications for specific people, specific groups, things of that nature, or opt people out of notifications altogether. So, you know, you can create additional groups. You can uh, mess with the existing groups here. But uh, this is essentially where you would go ahead and mess with any of that notification uh, type information. And so the last thing here is this settings area. And so this last tool is basically going to be where we'll have the ability to edit some of the information that we've put in previously, such as the name, the address, start date, end date, project number, project type, time zone, project value. And uh, that's all good information to have here just in case. Now, if we go in here, there's some additional settings for the various modules. We'll actually see those when we go to the modules themselves, so nothing to worry about there. And if we wanted to go ahead and save this project as a template, we could do that here too using this Save as Template button. Okay, if we go to Locations here. I just want to go ahead and show you that. So this is just going to show you uh, the location of the project. Um, not really going to get into this section very much here anyway. 
but uh, just so you know that it's there. All right, so jumping back up here, we are going to go ahead and get ready to jump over to our next section. So please join us in the next video to move on.